Here we go. Tell me your name, your age, if you're comfortable, and where do you live, and what is your art form? All right. My name is Masha Shah. I believe I'm 40. <laughs> and I believe I live in Roswell, New Mexico. And what do you do? Um, I'm an artist. And I'm curious about all kinds of things. And I like images and make drawings. Mm, thank you. Okay, the first question is, name something that is, has been an inspiration for you throughout your life that has to do with your artwork. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be a piece of art. It can be anything that globally has inspired you with your art. It's quite easy, <laughs> I think. Um, for me, uh, it is, Tundra. I grew up far away. Um, they call it in Russian, it's Krajny Seder, mm. the end of the north. But um, on in Chukotka, mm -hmm. and it's internal earth, uh, internal frost. And I grew up in the place when you just look around and it's open and beautiful limitless mm. and I think this is the inherited trait in me and openness yes and so for clarity we're speaking about the tundra yes yes I mean I just want everybody to understand what you're saying you know I understood it but your your voice has a nice low inflection so I just wanted to be clear Wow, can you can you say a little bit more about about it? Um, I'm curious personally. Well, the tundra is just like my walls. You know, they white and they endless. There is mm. no limits. That's why I don't like to draw on the pages with the borders. Right. You know, I can unroll my roll. I can glue as many pieces as I need. I go. Boom. <laughs> For as long as the wall, what the wall will allow, right? As well, as much as I want my drawing to be. Mm -hmm. It's not really about the walls. It's really the, what I'm drawing. You just feel like, oh, it's cramped or things like that. And I think it's one of the beautiful thing I learned about drawing is truly, it's not only a drawing, but it's space around it. It could be something really small, but how much space you need to be around it. If it's white, it's also a drawing. Mm -hmm. So it's that. One more curious detail of my biography is I was also born in the place called airport. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell. And, you know, it's a nine hours flight from Moscow. Mm -hmm. So this place when the you know expansion of Soviet Union and this was the really close to Alaska. That's place so my father was um, fixing helicopters and he was from Siberia and when he went to university in Riga, Latvia, he was sent to work in the airport there. But I was born in the place airport and since then, you know, like every summer we would fly somewhere and it would be a happy moment for me. We would sp spend winter there and then we would go for three months somewhere. Mm. So this kind of travel, this trans, like I love airports. Sometimes when I fly somewhere, I will take the longer connection. So I just can hang out in this <laughs> rootless place where you truly became in some kind of trance that you don't know who you are, what you're doing, where you're going, because you're tired, you... So I like the state when you're kind of not totally in control, but feelings and things are just randomly coming around you and mm. became some kind of soup, bouillon, <laughs> <laughs> random things. Oh, that's a wonderful, it's unusual. You're probably the only person on earth who wants to extend her flight, <laughs> you know, but what a, what a wonderful 
detail. Thank you for that. Okay, Masha, the second question is, when you are in the act of your work, drawing, specifically drawing in the act, and things are, for lack of a better word, going, for lack of a better phrase, going very well, you feel connected to what you're doing. Do you experience any body sensation that is specific to that zone of activity and uh, mind, heart, everything being together? Uh, are you aware of that at all? Where you lose time, perhaps? I'm putting words in your mouth, but other disciplines, you know, performance, you know, you become unaware of the instrument. Have you experienced that? And if so, what does it feel like? Or maybe you could explain it in a better way. Uh, I guess for me, it's like a quiet concentration. Mm -hmm. And it's like prolonged and it's like, <clears throat> it's a diffused, prolonged focus. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you, I, I feel it here and here. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm like coming in this kind of like a conus. Let's put it this way. And it's, let's say, it's like a quiet joy you hold back, something like that. Yeah. And you know, it's um, in a way, I would connect to that, like, you know, when you like, drive at night for many years and you only especially in New Mexico you only have those lines and darkness mm -hmm. and you're also kind of tired and you don't exactly aware of things but that's also like tremendous you know radio and then you being with your mind for a prolonged amount of time and this kind of uh, the word digest in the in Russian I tried to translate it um, yeah, it's not grandiose, but it's, uh, you know, it's like this kind of meaning and then everything coming to, and of course you cannot put it to the words, but it's a qu quiet joy and some kind of understanding of something you don't understand, mm -hmm. but you kind of holding it up. That's beautifully put, a kind of understanding of something you don't understand. It's, it, that's like a, a liminal space of, of experience, really. It's and, what, beautifully put. And beautifully you kind of, put. you feel like you're, you're like rubbing your shoulder mm -hmm. with that, you mm -hmm. know? And when you can go to the space, and that's the truly, you want to go to that space because it's truly not the result is important. It's not even the drawing is important. But then when you go to that moment when you feel like you're on this kind of slightly, not even rubbing, but you just like feel like this, you know, when you're close to the body, you don't touch, but you feel like warmth of the body, mm -hmm. like this kind of mm -hmm. think of, and it's truly, it's not really about results, but then you can go to that space. Wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. It's some kind of majestic, quiet thing. Ah, oh, yes. Beautifully put. Mm, I love that. So the third question is, it's an obvious question, but I'm so, always so curious to see what, hear what each individual says about this, which is, you know, we all know uh, that art is important. Globally, all the art forms are important. What is your opinion about that? Why do we need the arts? Why is it important for you and for the world? You know, this, uh, I thought about it just yesterday, actually. And it's, the, it's funny how we are. We go through life and we see things, you know, da, 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 and then like suddenly they resurface. And for me, for to answer that question, the thing resurfaced is this, uh, postcard was sent by my friend the artwork of Louis Bourgeois and it says mm. art is a guarantee of sanity mm. you know this is truly like why you know why that's why you know absolutely that's exactly sure. when like everything falls apart and you stay in there apart and then there is like you know this fork 
and in this walk you kind of like yeah it makes sense you know yeah so you can well and obviously there's like we're human beings it seems like we have such a unique suffering and these questions and but how many of us in Australia were kind of going through the same things and some people could you know transcend it and produce these books and music and painting in some uh, fantastic crazy circumstances that the spark is here for and then mm -hmm. you know you different moments you find this like different sparks talking to you and then just truly just yes marvelous you up, you yeah know? yeah it, it it's art of all sorts I, it it shows up no matter what's happening you know it's always a given i think you know no matter if we're happy sad if the world is falling apart if the world feels sane for some reason for a second art is always always there and that's the beauty of it too it's what you're saying you know it's it's very nice I have to add something. I really Please. love this uh, second question you asked about these things because it's kind of funny that um, you ask about this feeling, you know, and it's like put me this like tremendous joy and it's such a like like such a wonderful question because like even talking about this feeling, you know, you like in your brain, you kind of like relieving this fantastic feeling of doing walk, you know? Yeah, 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 wonderful. I see it on your face. Everyone who watches the video will see the joy on your face. It's so great. And we can imagine you making art at the same time, right? <laughs> that's great. Well, that's my questions, and you have been marvelous, Masha. So, Masha Shah, thank you so much for sharing your creative imperative. I thank you.